Dr. Moore with Uncivilized Vitality, and we're going to go over another one of the eight uh, categories or families of uncivilized technology uh, as outlined in your student handbook. This video is going to be about your salt and needle kit. Uh, so salt and needle is going to refer to um, the gear you need to repair your gear or take care of yourself, uh, basically first aid and uh, personal hygiene. So uh, it can be pretty simple. i got a few things laid out here. Obviously, I've got just a little container of salt, uh, sea salt. I carry that around with me in my uh, bag, my day bag, or even in my pocket. If you're camping, I'll take a slightly larger one. Uh, it's always good to have salt for there's so many different uses. We'll have another video on that. And then your first aid kit could be something as simple as this little, um, little travel first aid bag. It's got some uh, bandages, some medium bandages, uh, some gauze pads, uh, a couple things there, alcohol wipes and such. You can uh, buy a, a commercial one like this. You can put your own kit together. I've got a little first aid pouch, and then here is just my collections of uh, bandages. Um, and I'm thinking in terms of uh, being out in the woods. So I've got some Pepto Bismol, some ibuprofen, some anti diarrheals, uh, any allergy meds if somebody needed that. I have alcohol and iodine pads, uh, a few uh, gauze pads, and some band aids in here. So this is just kind of my own personal ouch pouch. When we take an uncivilized group out, we have a full-size uh, trauma bag and medical kit. So a little bag you build yourself in your pocket, a little commercial um, item. Some more uh, package would be this um, MedMag self-rescue pouch. These come in a variety of different uh, themes. This is just to control bleeding. It's got some hemostatic gauze in there, some personal protection equipment, uh, some uh, gloves, and uh, some tape, things like that. Um, this is a good one to kind of have pre-made. You can get uh, just a little little package of gauze, some duct tape, and a triangular bandage. Uh, just throw a little hair tie around that. There's a, a quick little um, bleeding kit. Uh, you'll we usually take an ouch pouch, and then I take a full uh, trauma bag or a blowout kit with us. We go. This would be for more serious wounds. Uh, we got trauma shears, some personal protection. Bandages, tourniquets, uh, nasopharyngeal airways, um, needle de uh, decompression needles, EpiPens, that sort of thing for more serious uh, injuries. We keep this, I keep that kind of with me on those outdoor events too. And then uh, my day to day carry, I've got kind of a blend between a trauma kit and an ouch pouch. I just keep this in the outside of my daily carry bag uh, to handle most first aid or emergency. Uh, type things. Just a few things in there to handle that. We can go through these kits at another time. Uh, don't need a full trot like a paramedic level bag, but just to handle kind of the the little things throughout the day, uh, especially here in Michigan, things like a tick key is <laughs> it's prime to have for the summer months in your first aid kit. So besides taking care of uh, first aid and trauma, uh, ouch pouch and trauma bags, blowout kits, and having these different either uh, packages I put together or commercial bags. I've got one in the Jeep. I keep one in my day bag. I take two or three when we go uh, hiking or camping, and then we run special, uh, we're running campaigns or, or events. We take the full, uh, the big trauma bag. The other thing that's important to have with you on a daily basis, or, or especially in the woods for your salt needle kit, is your, your personal hygiene. Uh, I'm using an Osprey uh, sort of roly poly bag again like I did with my pitch kit. And this is my personal toiletry bag. I keep it stocked. I just throw it in my backpack. I'm ready to go. Between this and a first aid pouch, right, then I'm, I'm all set for my salt and needle. In here I have uh, oral care. I have some toothpicks and a toothpaste and a toothbrush. I have a little mirror. I have an extra set of contact lenses. I have a little toenail clipper, um, fingernail clipper. I have in this pouch, some various wipes. I have some poison ivy wipes. I have some uh, bug wipes. I have some Remington oil patches. I've got a little, uh, I have a diamond sharpening rod for some of my tools. I've got a little, uh, a miniature cleaning kit for a pistol or firearm. And a little thing of um, biodegradable soap flakes uh, for washing up. I keep a couple of caffeine drinks and uh, I've got a little measuring tape here. And then in this kit, it's kind of for my my daily uh, constitutionals. I keep a small hand trowel or spade for digging a cat hole to eliminate waste. And then in here, uh, I use these little dude wipes, these little prepackaged wet wipes um, for cleaning up. 
personal things. I always have about a, I always put about a half a dozen or so in. Um, I carry a couple of these around in my day bag or in my pocket from for day to day too for cleaning purposes. A little package of uh, Kleenex or for nose blowing or other personals. A uh, little hand sanitizer for afterwards. There's no running water out in the, the field. And then I keep a couple Ziploc bags in here that are pre-marked as um, waste so that I can dispose of my dude wipes or my Kleenex instead of just leaving it in the forest. Put it in here, zip it up, and then at the end of the trip, um, I throw those things away. Another thing I keep in here is an ExoTac uh, rip spool. So this is uh, a nice piece of kit. It's got uh, quite a bit of Gorilla Tape around the the the, um, the body of this, and it's got some high tensile cord which can be used for fishing or um, uh, even gear repair. And then inside the cap is a if I can get that off. Inside the cap, and you spin that body off. All right. You got a set of uh, needles. I put two or three different size needles in there, but it comes with one. And you can see how much tape they have wrapped around there. So in a pinch, uh, for my daily carry, this would consist of uh, this ExoTac rip spool. Um, it consists of most of my uh, salt needle kit. So uh, there's that. Uh, so salt and needle are going to be the tools that you, uh, for personal hygiene and for um, first aid and self-care and helping others. So we'll go through some uses and unpack these kits in more detail in some other videos. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and go through these and sort of check off in your student handbook that you're packing the, the, the right components of these different uh, tool families. So that's all I have today.